May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings be free from harm. May all beings love life. May all beings awaken. Welcome to another Cuke Audio Podcast. I'm DC Pubob Cuke Audio and Cuke Archives. I pray that you and yours are safe and comfortable, free from economic hardship, and able to get out and do whatever it is you want within the limitations of the universal precept of do as little harm as possible. So uh, today we have a guest, James Ford, uh, who teaches Zen. He has a Zen group uh, down in uh, Long Beach, California. Uh, Right now I think they're mainly Zooming. He's also a Unitarian minister. You can check out the books James has written uh, under uh, James Ishmael Ford uh, on Amazon or wherever else uh, you can check for books. His website is jamesishmaelford.com. So uh, you're going to hear about his uh, interesting path just as soon as we've had our pause to meditate. So when you hear the bell... Hit pause, if you're of such a mind, and meditate or whatever for as long as you wish. And when you're ready to come back, hit unpause, and we'll be here to hit the bell to end the meditation and give James Ford a call. Aha, uh-huh. James. Ah, it worked, it worked. Yes, <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh, yeah, that's good. Yesterday, it, it didn't. There was some, I think the government shut some social media down yesterday, um, but not today. Um, that's highly unusual. It, 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 it had something to do with international taxes or something. Um, so how are you doing? You know, I'm doing very well. I, uh, um, I'm obscenely busy, although some former friend, uh, said, uh, uh, and whose fault is that? Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, me too. And I like it. Yeah, yeah, it's good. To, it's good to have things to do. <laughs> yeah. You enjoying B- Bali? Yeah, yeah. How many years have you been there now? Uh, this December it'll be nine. Wow, wow. Is 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 that the final landing? Is that where you think you'll croak? I w- would wouldn't mind that, but I don't know what'll happen. Uh, yeah, well, right. right. You know, well, we'll see. Um, that would be fine with me. I just assume uh, not fly anywhere further than Singapore or Kuala Lumpur, just to have a little change of pace. Uh, <laughs> Living on an island is, uh, you know, something I've never done. But my friends tell me that it, uh, um, yeah, it, you know, even a big island, uh, it can get. Uh, it can feel like a rock after a while. Hmm. Hmm. And this is this is not that big an island. I think I figured out once it's the size of uh, Marin and Sonoma counties, uh, with four <laughs> with four and a half million people. Uh, hmm. And um, you're you're in Southern California. Where are you? We we are we we're in landed in Long Beach, which which is sort of the port town uh, attached to Los Angeles. Right, right. Yeah, I've been there. Is is the Queen 
Mary there or something like that? Yeah, right, right. The Queen Mary is here, right. Yeah, yeah that's that's a big tourist uh, tourist draw. I've been drawn yeah, to it. Yeah, that's, that's the town, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's a good little, you know, it's a working class city. It does have a, you know, a good you know, California State University campus here. Uh, um, we're just enormously lucky. We landed in. We have a condo um, four blocks from the uh, from you know from the water. Yeah, how's the beach there? Yeah, it's uh, you know it's just you know a walk. The beach. Well, you know it's a it's part of a, a working harbor, so it's not you know it's it's it it is it's it's there's a big breakwater, so there's no genuine wave action, which means it's a you know it's cheaper here than it is to the south or to the north. Oh, I see. Um, um, but um, but it's a people's beach, you know. Yeah. There, there are. I mean, I love it. There's people of every color, uh, mainly working class people. Uh, um, um, we love it. You know, take a walk, walk almost every day down down that way. Oh, that's uh, neat. We want to walk into the into the yeah yeah yeah. It's just um, may it continue for a while. So, what are you busy with? Um, well, I. I I, I guess my, you know, I have a ton of things. I'm still consulting with the Unitarians. So right now I'm the consulting minister with the First Unitarian Church in Los Angeles. And that's, that's you know, interesting. You know, there's a, a nominal uh, uh, income involved. And I get, to, I get to preach once a month. Uh, huh. I have to attend their worship committees. And, you know, and I meet with the president of the board and, you know, huh. uh, share my opinion. Opinions on how things should be done. That's, yeah, with with no with no con- you know no I don't have to live with the consequences. It's kind of it's kind of perfect. Yeah. Um, then uh, you know we're our little Zen thing went in t- pretty much entirely online in COVID, and we you know we're still still doing that, and that's you know that's kind of kind of nice. Um, mm-hmm. Although it's been a little while since I've done a retreat. Um, what else? Oh, writing, you know, you know, the blog keeps me busy and I just signed a contract with Shambhala for what will be my sixth book. That's kind of, kind of splendiferous. Wow. And, uh, wow. Um, and now I'm working on what might turn in, you know, in, in my fantasy life, um, maybe a seventh book in there. Wow. So, you know, and then Jan, Jan in her retirement has been able to be, finally be able to pull out the stops on being act, a social justice activist, which is where her heart is. And uh, she's, you know, doing some, some nice things in the area of uh, um, um, immigration rights. You know, we're down, you know, we're, you know, we're in Southern California. So we got a lot of uh, mm. immigration issues here. Oh, uh, yeah. So I think that'd be good. Uh, yeah. Ouch. Um, yeah, that's yeah. a tough one. Say, I just want to warn you. I keep getting a poor connection message. Uh, might be on my end, something in between us, whatever. But it, it's still going. But it could hang up, and I'll okay. just call you back if it does. Uh, Fair enough. It won't be because you were mad at me. <laughs> Was it something I said? <laughs> um, hmm. Often it is. Yeah. yeah. Uh, now— in terms of Zen, uh, what's your lineage? Um, well, I have a, a, a two really. Uh, in my childhood, I was ordained uh, um, by Jew Kennett, and uh, so I was I was her first student in North America. No kidding! Uh, I was actually sitting at the, yeah, yeah. I was sitting in the Berkeley Zendo. And I, uh, you know, and, you know, I was young and foolish and, uh, um, and it seemed like the, 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 the Zen center, uh, uh, complex was already this really big going concern. And what year was that? Well, let's see. I remember when she came in, that was 68 or something. Well, let's see. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think that sounds right. 68. I don't think it's yeah, because uh, we put her up man, at the I'm pretty sure so. at at yeah, you know it was before yeah. we moved over to the city center. I can remember there because she was staying 
across the street from Sokoji. I remember her and some nuns, some young nuns, right? Um, she had um, two two disciples, a nun and a, and a monk. And a um, monk, a nun and that, a monk. Yeah, they, yeah, that came came with her. She moved into a flat in, on Petrero Hill and announced she was receiving. And um, 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 now Josh Barron says he was the first to her door, but it was me. Oh, well, I'm going to have to talk to him <laughs> about that. <laughs> That's good. That's good. How yeah, old were yeah. you then? Uh, let's see. Well, let's see. If it was 68. I would have been 20. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm. Well, yeah, I felt even younger. Yeah. Uh, so how did that go? So you got when you say you got ordained by her, right? Did you say that? In in what as a lay person? Well, I did the you know all three things. Um, um, you know, we moved. Well, let's see. While we were in in uh, San Francisco, you know, uh, I uh, did precepts with her. Then um, when we were in, then then she went off to to London and left left the center, the temple, the flat on Petrero. Uh, in charge with the nun in charge and, and, um, I moved in and, uh, um, um, she called us and said she was actually coming back with a herd of people. So we found a house in <laughs> Oakland. And when we, and then when we were in Oakland, that's when I was ordained to Insui. Um, and then, uh, -huh. uh -huh. you know, the, the acquired the property in Shasta yeah. and that's, and that's where I uh, received uh, Denbo. You received um, Denbo. That's correct. H yeah. How would and, you uh, translate that? Uh, well, you know, it's. I mean, generally we say Dharma transmission. And uh, but, Unshui, you know, how would you translate that? I know what it means, but uh, yeah, normally that would be. I think most of us would call that a novice priest. A novice priest, right? Unshui. Right, right. Uh, what is that? Cloud water? Cloud, a clouds and water person. Yeah. 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 It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's aspirational. Uh, may, mm. may, may we live into that. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So, you know, but it was like this lightning fast thing. I, I wasn't there, you know, three years, so more than two years with her. Um, and at the end of the day, I'm what, 20, you know, not quite 23 and I have Dharma transmission in a moment where, you know, we don't have a, a nuanced understanding of what that means. And it, at that moment, it, it became a co-op, you know, because it, it was pretty, pretty, pretty clear. I, uh, to, to even to me that, that, that didn't make a lot of sense. And, huh. uh, and, and so, you know, you know, as they say, hilarity ensued. Uh, repeat that, would you? Oh, hilarity ensued. Oh, I I, yeah. I didn't yeah. understand it. Now, G. U. Kennett, yeah. just review. Um, sure. She came from England. She went mm -hmm. to Japan in the sixties, right? Or, or did that's correct? I think she. Yeah, she spent. You know, I no longer. You know, I didn't look anything up, uh, and we are talking a. You know two lifetimes ago, but um, um, I think she spent seven or eight years in Japan. She studied at Sojiji. Right. Do you remember the name of her teacher uh, there? Well, yeah. Yeah, her her official teacher was Chisan Koho, who was the abbot of the center. Near as I can tell, probably her, and, and definitely there was a teacher, teacher relationship, but her her functional teacher, the person she actually worked with uh, most of the time was, um, um, oh, this is embarrassing. His name's just flown out of my head. So again, Yogo. Uh -huh. and, um, and so she received transmission from both of them, actually, hmm. contrary to, as near as I can tell, Soto protocols, and um, um, was given a temple, you know, some little rural Umpukuji, I forget the town it was in. And, no and, kidding. Um, you know, wow. That's <laughs> amazing. Was a parish priest there for a little for a little while before 
thinking that maybe it was time to come come west. So, but, uh, it, yeah. you know, that's uh, people forget, you know, and they talk about people who got transmission is in, and she got it before almost anybody. Maybe Walter Nowick and her uh, coming from Japan. Um, there were yeah, some so, other. So time, right? Huh? Oh, go on. Oh, I was just going to say there, there were some other Westerners who had temples. I talked to one guy from Houston who had a temple. Maybe in Nara, I can't. So long ago, uh, mm -hmm, ma right. just a hand, maybe one or two, you know. Uh, yeah, there, there, there definitely were were, were not many. Um, <laughs> um, in, in in Soto, she might be the first. Uh, yeah. Uh, um, and and in Rinzai, I think the you know the authorizations are you know they're so much they're so different. Um, yeah. And, you know what 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 things mean. Um, uh, there you know in Japan there might have been there there are a handful of people wandering around doing things. Yeah. Um, she definitely she definitely was among the first to get the you know the the the, the full regular ordinations and you know. Oh, the, I I think basic, she's the, the first. Uh, see now six. She, she, do you know uh, what year she she uh, got uh, transmission? Uh, uh, I I do not remember, but it has to be in the nineteen sixties. Well, yeah, uh, well, it would be uh, maybe sixty six, sixty seven. Could have, could have, probably a little before that. If uh, uh -huh. I, I'm 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 trying to resist going to. Yeah, Google don't, don't. Machine. That's all. I'm just <laughs> curious about her. Yeah. Uh, yeah. She was very friendly. I remember that. And I regret uh -huh. not uh -huh. having visited her at Shasta Abbey. Uh, uh, I've never been inside Shasta Abbey. Did you ever make it there? I'm sure you must have. Well, well, I was there for the, at the very beginning. I mean, many of my, most of my memories of Mount of Shasta Abbey are either um, scraping pink paint off because, you know, the, the 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 core buildings were a, formerly a motel built by some Italian craftsmen stonemasons that had then been purchased by the the great I am. Oh, I am had it. Yeah, they had it in you know, and in, in their in their color mysticism, a, a bubblegum pink is relaxing. Uh -huh. so my 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 I, I, of the, my two major memories. One is scraping paint, you know, off of wood and stone, and the other was uh, uh, drinking, digging a, a septic tank. Oh, that's tough. Yeah, I've been involved with that. Uh, yeah, yeah, I am. That was that goes back to, I think, the thirties. An American yeah, headquartered yeah. in Chicago, yeah. and uh, it was based on the, uh, the from the Bible, "I am that I am." Uh, right. Which, it, it's a spinoff on Theosophy. Uh, oh, off of uh, Theosophy. Guy, All right. Yeah. 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 Guy Guy Ballard was their their guru, and um, I he fell foul of the law, if I recall correctly when um, um, Jesus came and sat for a portrait and he sold it through the mails. And uh, ha -ha. That, 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 <laughs> that, that, that apparently Jesus did not show up when he was subpoenaed. Ha -ha. Uh, so that is terrific. I the term. I've been to their headquarters in Chicago. Uh, oh, wow. Uh, wow. I'm back in 64 when I, I was mm -hmm. there with SDS. And as I remember... Maybe not then, but at one point, and maybe even then, I can't remember, but, but uh, the guy who took me to it, he was into all the weird stuff. He mm -hmm. was head of the Flying Saucer S Society, and uh, he went to a beatnik coffee shop. It was great. I was, it was turned me on to yeah, a lot yeah. of stuff. He took me to a theosophy meeting. Uh and, uh, and you must be, what are you at this point? You, you're the same age I am. I 77. I'm older. Yeah. Um, oh, but, oh, a full, yeah, yeah. But two years. Yeah, a full two years. Uh, and yeah. yeah, show some respect to your seniors you were, here. You, you were, you were mature then. Yeah, yeah right. Uh, 
So it, I think it was a circular building that had light bulbs around the edge, you, you know, like a, a, a walkway there. And the idea was you walk under it and you get some sort of divine lighter. I mean, maybe that's not true, but I have that memory. Either yeah, I have some great memories too. Some of them are actually they co they coincide with reality. <laughs> so, uh, how long were you with you, Kenneth? That's very serious. Wow. Not 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 quite three years. I mean, and that's part of the problem. Now, to be fair to her, you know, I I did kind of like the the basic train. You know, I just ran once we were in Oakland. It was all on you know straight on goes you know for the entire for you know, the two and a half years, but, but, uh, um, yeah, so, you know, I, I think I had basically what the training that you might get something fairly comparable to, uh, to, you know, the, the monastic formation from a Japanese priest. Yeah. Yeah. She um, was pretty, yeah. uh, uh, traditional. At that time she was very right. It was the, the only, you know, the, we did all, the liturgy entirely in English. We did the, First time I did the Heart Sutra in English was with her, and um, and then you know pretty much everything was done in English, right? Um, uh, except for Gothis and uh, uh, Durani's, excuse me. And then um, um, I thought, see, at some point she did have us wear cleric Western style clericals when we were out on the street. Yeah, um, but that was it. That was that was his, yeah. You know, that was as much a departure. Uh, as I some years ago now, it's now many years ago, um, a former a former inmate from Mount Shasta um, <laughs> who had made a made a made a fortune in in uh, computer security systems. Uh, he underwrote a gathering of of former former um, monastics. Um, uh -huh. I think it was all people who had been you know transmitted. And I don't remember now. Maybe twenty of us gathered in 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 Portland, and it was a it was a very you know it was a very powerful moment for me, very very helpful and mm -hmm. in a healing kind of way. And um, um, but one of the things I realized when I when you know in the gathering they started first the first meal that we all had together, they all sang this 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 grace, and at that point I realized. They were all alums of Shasta Abbey, and I was an alum of the Zen Mission Society, you know, which had built, you know, or started Shasta Abbey, but it was it was not the organ, it was not the thing that they they matured into. Yeah, you were you were you, you were o Oakland. Your identity, yeah, your your identity with that group was Oakland, huh? Yeah, and 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 San Francisco, San Francisco. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, actually, you know, my most intimate time with was that at the beginning with her, where you know, I vivid memories that uh, you know when we were you know on the right side of the Roshi, uh, being invited to sit in her room uh, um, and watch this little tiny TV to watch uh, Dark Shadows uh, while while drinking Lapsang Souchong tea. Which I dark tried to shadows. I could like dark shadows. It was a soap opera, and it it had vampires and uh, and other uh, uh, kind of monsters. It was it was great. Huh. Uh, uh, <laughs> I believe I, somebody told me that you can see episodes on YouTube. Oh, I'm sure you can see just about anything. Because yeah. uh, I've I've gone back and watched Amos and Andy, which you can't is. Hard to get. Uh -huh. It was absolutely great. Uh, and I don't think was racist at all, any more than the Honeymooners uh -huh. was. It was sort of like a, a black Honeymooners. I loved it. I was going to say, I think it cut from much the same cloth. Yeah. Um, and uh, 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 the, the, and the Honeymooners and the Three Stooges, but not much. Just, you know, just one to remember them every few years or well, Right, right. Well, I had that. Most of, I mean, you know, digressing into our childhoods. Uh, um, I these, you know, we. Well, actually, you're on the. You're interesting. You're on the cusp. I can. I consider myself the first generation 
to be raised with television. And, yeah. and you might have just been ahead of that or you're right in the middle of it either. Yeah. You're right on the cusp. Yeah. But in Southern California, I remember watching Crusader Rabbit. And I had these, which was this, uh, actually, I think it's the same people who ended up doing uh, Rocky and Bullwinkle. Uh, oh. But it featured, oh, it featured a, so a, a rabbit and Raglan T. Tiger was his sidekick. And and I had these vivid memories, speaking of memories. Um, and But thanks to uh, YouTube, I saw the first episode. And, and uh, it was kind of interesting because I kind of remembered the story. But... The thing was, most of the action scenes were actually simply storyboards that were sort of car- bounced along in front of the camera. Mm. Uh, you know, there was, it was only partially animated, um, but in my memory, it's a fully, you know, fully realized cartoon. Yeah, that's uh, because so. you, you hadn't been spoiled by better production yet. <laughs> that's for sure. Yeah. Wow. Uh, I I know that. That uh, you know, the first people that saw the first uh, silent films coming out were just blown away mm-hmm. by it, the way we were by Star Wars when it first came out, right? Uh, right. Which seems hokey now, uh, you know. Yeah, that's true. And now uh, stuff like uh, with a lot of special effects and everything to me is all just boring. Uh, uh, well, if you rely, I mean, sure, if it's if, but we're at a point where the the, the 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 you know if if the show is simply about special effects or yeah, explosions, um, um, you know, I mean, it has an audience, but generally that audience begins to peter out at about thirty. Uh, oh yeah, that, more 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 than twice that now. So. Oh, those are enormous international like money makers, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, now you mentioned Rocky and Bullwinkle. Uh, that is one of the – that was uh, public TV, wasn't it? Yeah. I, you know, I think it's commercial. It's just – Oh, good. really? God, it was the greatest thing on earth. I just absolutely yeah. loved it. Uh, just – it's just nice having you remind me of it. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, old farts, old farts getting together. Yeah, right. Although, oh. although, although we haven't gotten to how things have gotten – Bad since our day, um, which is, I think, the other old fart favorite. Well, and nor have we discussed our medications. Mm, yeah. The, the, uh, yeah. The two big, big subjects for, for old guys uh, and gals getting together. <laughs> um, uh, now, but uh, what, what brought you to leave uh, the GU Kennett realm uh, after uh, three years? Well, it was a mixed bag. Um, um, a, a lot of it was simply, you know, I, you know, what, what was going on. Um, I, 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 I genuinely felt that this there was something off. Uh, it felt, uh, you know, a little too authoritarian. With it began, I began to realize it wasn't all Guru's grace. That maybe, maybe some of the arbitrariness didn't have anything to do with uh, my, you know spiritual training um so there's that part um um, i myself you know i mean i was also immature and i just you know didn't really have a feel for what was going on and Mm. uh um so a confluence of my immaturity and i think a little bit of insight that maybe this was just a little too cultish uh an organization Mm -hmm. and uh um, um left and then began a period of wandering. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, um, the, you know, because, uh, the yeah. Just one more uh, comment sure. about that group. I remember um, I had people from it, you know, get hold of me, mm-hmm. uh, one reason or another, and I visited a couple who were both priests in Portland um, on a book signing. Oh. Oh. Kyogen and Gyokuko? Yeah. The Carlsons? Yeah. And, oh, and they left. Oh, aren't they the... Are, yeah. Go on. Oh, I just wanted to say wonderful, wonderful humans. Oh, yeah. Uh, I really um, enjoyed... Amazing, amazing community they've built there. Yeah, yeah. And and we've been in touch some through the years, uh, but not 
in person. I might have seen them in person again because I did a three or four book signings in uh, Portland. But uh, great bookstore there, uh, Powell's. Wow, uh, Powell's. Yeah, one of the one of the one of the great. Yeah, one of the great bookstores in America. I'd say. Uh, a- anyway, uh, they left when she decided that all priests, including married couples, should be celibate. That's right. Right. They wanted. She had issued an edict that they uh, needed to be d- d- divorced uh, forthwith, and and um, I, they conferred and they they spoke to their um, to their board and the you know the community that they were you know in charge of in Portland, and I you know and they you know issued a a very polite fuck you. <laughs> and, uh, um, yeah. And 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 Dharma Rain, as far as I'm concerned, is one of the most you know substantial, well-rooted adult Zen communities uh, in North America. You know, they're just just you know it's you know they built this amazing campus um, in recent years, mm. uh, and uh, um, um, doing really really good work. You know, Kyogen has died with. You know, it's a tragic loss for all of us. Oh, and right. Yokoko that was a while back. Retired. That was a while back. A while back, yeah. It was uh, you know, one of those unexpected things. Yeah. And, uh, uh, but they, they built they built something. And, and Kyokoko is, uh, is, you know, she's you know, abbot emeritus and you know is associated with the country you know with the with the sangha and lives quite close by but you know there's a new generation that's running the running the show Mm. and 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 doing just really good work oh that is great to hear that is great to hear it really is it really is yeah huh well if i get back to the states uh, i i would imagine i'd go to oregon because uh my Lovely wife, Katrinka's son, and uh, family mm-hmm. lived there uh, south of, well, I don't know, north and south, uh, mm-hmm. uh, in Bandon, a uh, uh, little resort town for with a number of five golf courses. Uh, and, oh. <laughs> and uh, but uh, I'd love to go visit them. Uh, that, that well, Tim, I mean, there's a lot of really good. In there, you know, I mean the 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 bays. Uh, uh, yeah, chosen Jan Bay. Yeah. Jan Bay yeah. used to show up at book signings of mine with like eight, ten students. That was always nice. Yeah, yeah, they're good people. Yeah, for, for, for sure. And they have, a, you know, Class and I is quite quite an interesting uh, um, center out there in the in the sticks. Um, yeah, yeah, you know, just you know, she and Hogan are, you know good people as well and have done some really great work. There's a younger priest, A. Joe McMullen in, in uh, um, um, Eugene, who's, you know, really solid and, you know, it, conservative in the, in the newer sense of the word, you know, very aligned with the Japanese tradition and uh, um, really is actually more a Soto Shu person than a, you know, than a Western Soto person. Very interesting teacher and uh-huh. all of that, you know, that's, that, you know, and I, and I, I think those are just sort of highlights, you know, there's, you know, probably if I, you know, if I had half a brain left, I could pull the other three or four major teachers that are, you know, Oregon's quite a place, you know, for, 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 for the Zen Dharma. Yeah. Uh, uh, I remember visiting the uh, Ashland Zen Center. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, uh, yeah. What I forgot to mention, right? right. So, yeah. all right. So you left. What did you do? I left. <laughs> well, let's see. Um, 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 I had um, part of it. Well, there was one of the reasons. I, you know, um, I had a girlfriend at the time um, when I was when the when um, Kenneth Roshi was going to go to uh, England, and she said, uh, um, "I want you to move in and you know start paying the rent," and um, but. You two have to get married first, so uh, um, and and we did, and so um, you know we when we left, um, um, that marriage collapsed not long after that. And, uh, we had a baby that 
you know, like, it was, you know, sadnesses for, for a lot of people. So I, I do carry a grudge on that one to this day. And, you mean your um, grudge is uh, to G who can it for making you get married? That's correct. That's correct. Yeah. yeah. We were not, we were not well suited together. Yeah. And, um, um, uh, so anyway, we moved to Southern California. Um, I began working in bookstores. I, I, I had, well, I began working in bookstores before that. I went to work in a bar, one of those Powell like bookstores in uh, Cold Warm Rocks in San Diego. Mm. And um, um, uh, had a divorce, another brief marriage, wandered around, tried to kick around looking at various things that didn't, you know, trying spiritually, spirituality and, and spiritual practice were all I was really interested in. Moved back up to the Bay Area, moved into a Sufi kanka, uh, one of, you know, Sufi Sam's people. Oh, was he around? No, he had, I met him when, when, um, when I was studying with Chu Kenneth, uh, he came to visit a number of times. She kind of liked him. Um, ah. he's, you know, kind of inter- interesting. He is more than interesting you know, character. And uh, um, um, actually, in the Sufi Kanka, I met Jan, and neither of us belonged there. It was not our spirituality. And we um, moved out to, uh, and started a little bookstore up on the Russian River. And And at that point, then, is when I kind of found my Footing. Um, I, I, two things. I, I began practicing, attending the Unitarian Church, and I uh, ran into John Tarrant. Uh, oh, and now of, what year are we talking about? So, geez, trying to figure that one out. It would have to be the the um, mid nineteen eighties. Mm-hmm. And uh, and you said yeah, uh, so, where so, where. So, so um, um, we had sold the bookstore, and and Jan and I had been. I dropped out of high school, and Jan dropped out of university to join the revolution. And uh, um, we arrived at a spot in the, you know, as we were pushing in our late thirties, where where Jan um, was had become a typesetter, uh, and. And in the revolution, she was uh, she was a, tr- a draft counselor. She, first, she worked for the American Friends Service Committee, and then she worked for the Central Committee on Conscientious Objections. Oh, wonderful! When that ended, wonderful. she went to San- to uh, City College in San Francisco and and got a certificate to be a, a typesetter. And it was this kind of weird little window between when uh, hot hot type, you know, you know, sloshing molten lead. And and the modern PC, uh, so so oh. computer driven, but uh, but but the but a lot of it was done by eye, like kerning, you know, the placement of letters and things was 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 a, a skill set. And so she did that, and she was doing that for a few years. So she was in a, we knew in the mid 1980s she was in a dying trade, and um, and I could go to any city in the country and get a seven dollar an hour job. And as we were, you know, pushing into the end of our 30s, we realized this may not be a smart move. And so we began a campaign that put ourselves through school. We, we in about a five-year period, we bought ourselves two bachelor's degrees and three master's degrees. And, you know, she, she became a librarian and I became a Unitarian minister. But, but I'm working in a bookstore and going to school at that moment. What, wait, where were you located? Santa Rosa. Oh, so all right. Um, so um, um, a couple walk into the bookstore, and and the guy says, "Do you have anything unusual in Orientalia?" I have this vivid memory, and 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 I said, "Yes, we have a Lafcadio Hearn ghost story." Oh, uh, wow! Um, with color, with hand colored plates, and. Um, and he looked at it and, you know, he was behind a locked glass case and he bought it, you know, it was a hundred bucks, which, in, you know, was, you know, money. And, um, and so I said, you know, for yourself, no gift, um, uh, um, friend, no teacher, 
a teacher of what Zen. And um, um, anyway, he's buying a gift for for Ikan Roshi. And and I had just at that moment, I had the day before uh, mailed a letter to Ikan Roshi. I had um, started, I'd resumed a regular sitting practice. I'd looked around uh, um, trying to find a teacher. Um, I worked for a little while with a, uh, I was introduced to Cohen introspection in the, in the quantum style by, by somebody. And um, I was trying to figure out what, what to do. And, and um, um, I, I wrote Aiken Roshi this long letter about, you know, sad story. And um, <laughs> he never responded. Uh, but, but, but the next day, John Carroll. Wait a minute, a sad story. Yeah. My sad story. What's so sad about it? Uh, You know, being a human. Oh, uh, that's right. I forgot. Unresolved matter of life and death. (laughs) All right. (laughs) (laughs) And and so uh, Jen and I, uh, John and I uh, uh, met in a, you know, had for coffee and we talked and, uh, um, you know, I mean, I just, you know, and he had explained he had just been, he had, he'd been authorized to, as a teacher, um, in this kind of short tether authorization that, that Aiken Roshi had and, uh, before full transmission and, and he had just come there to, to finish up his doctorate. You know, he's really smart. He clearly, you know, knew what he was, was about and you could feel a little, re- little recklessness in his aura. And, right, and, uh, <laughs> that's and, true. And so, <laughs> so I uh, actually at that time, because I'd been introduced to the quantum style, I was actually had an opportunity to do a retreat with with uh, um, um, Sung Sun, uh, uh, Sun uh, uh and it was a Korean Zen master, and 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 it was in, in it was in Berkeley, and it was a five day retreat, and it was. You know, it was good. It was really good. And I really liked him. Um, um, you know, I was able to, you know, like answer his calls. That never, never hurts. And, uh, um, um, you know, and I, you know, and just, and I, I, there were these people there in the, you know, his old, more senior students. You know, some of them were like, there was like a professor of English and everything. They all spoke in kind of broken English, kind of in a, imitating his, oh, you know, yeah. his Korean, yeah. Korean English. And and the way I summed it up for me, as I said, uh, at the time, um, you know, they had kimchi for breakfast. And, you know, and I love kimchi, but, uh, um, you know, I don't, you know, I, I just did not feel an alignment with uh you know, with with the cultural hybridizing that they were doing, yeah, and 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 I uh, um, went back and I gave John the incense, you know, and I worked with him for twenty years, you know, you know, you know and did buku retreats. Uh, Wait a minute, uh, you work with Sun Sun? John Tarrant. John Tarrant. Who, for, All right, we were we were uh, yeah. we were in the so, so, I, Korean I, I, retreat. I sat, I sat one. I, I sat one retreat with 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 Sung San, and I realized that, that right. it was an interesting way to go. It was an option, and I chose not to do it. I chose to go with John. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, I knew that, yeah. but I I, I yeah. missed that. Yeah. I missed when you leaped back to John. Yeah, yeah. that's where I met you. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, it was some yeah. I some years into that is when we first met, and we we met. Yeah, um, a number of times. You know, yeah, three, four. You know, at least. Um, yeah, and um, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. We both. I think we both really, really liked John, and uh, you know, had some different relationships with him. And, and yeah, uh, he's he's uh, one of my prime benefactors. <laughs> yeah, well, he's. I I can say the same thing. Yeah. Um, um, <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, um, Eternally grateful, you know. Yeah. I, 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 you know, I'm not part of his organization. I have a, you know, more conservative style, but, but I, uh, I remain etern- you know, eternally grateful. Yeah. And, uh, uh, you know, and he ended up, you know, at some point, he gave me 
I, 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 when I began to work with him, I, you know, I metaphorically gave him my robes and he insisted I wear a brown rock suit. Um, um, but, but, you know, that was it. That was the sole confession to my background. And then we, you know, then I, you know, studied with him and worked with him and helped, you know, try and get a, get the uh, stand up a first, the first sitting group for him. And, uh, mm. uh, and, you know, and then, and then, you know, after it was, a, I finished my undergraduate degree, you know, then moved down to Berkeley to do the, my MDiv at, uh, at uh, Pacific School of Religion and uh, picked up an MA at the same time in the philosophy of religion. Um, discovered I really liked this. I liked the school. Um, I just was a little slow to get it, get to it. And then, um, um, and then, you know, my first, yeah, and then I spent 25 years out of the state serving four different churches. Jan got her library degree in, in Wisconsin where I served my first parish and, uh, no kidding. Um, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. In Milwaukee, we, you know, it was the first time I ever saw snow fall out of the sky. Oh, that is funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, uh, it, I didn't expect it to be quiet. It was kind of, kind of cool. Yeah. And, uh, and then, um, then to Arizona, then to New England, where we spent 15 years in New England. And then, you know, and, you know, then all the way, you know, started sitting groups and the large community grew up around uh, um, various collaborations in my teaching in, in New England and then retired. Where, where were you in New England? Well, I served two churches. The first one was in Newton, Massachusetts, which is an inner ring of Boston. And then my, my last settlement uh, was as the senior minister of the uh, First Unitarian Church of Providence in Rhode Island. Wow. Um, yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, it was interesting because you know, in in the West, of course, you know, Unitarian. You know, in those days, people Unitarian is that that religion from Korea, and uh, um, uh, or Unity. They would think was Unity. Uh -huh. uh, in New England, you know, you know, we're there from the beginning. So you know, a lot of the the churches are these, you know big old historic edifices mm. newton actually isn't newton's was built in uh in eight in actually the building was built in 1905 if i recall correctly and, but but it was a ralph adams cram mini cathedral gothic cathedral so, mm. so, so i never thought i'd be in as grand a church as that when i left i served there eight years and then uh and then i went to providence uh with, you know, which was uh, the New England Meeting House on Steroids, uh, you know, where I, you know, the pulpit was one of the, what they call a bench pulpit. One of these. So I, I'd have to climb up this little, they call it a stairwell, but it was almost a ladder uh, up, you know, where my feet were 10 feet in the air. I could waggle my finger and, you know, huh. tell people what's what. It was you know, kind of wonderful. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Except, except that the, 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 the actually the balcony was just a little bit above the, uh, the the pulpit. So and the teenagers all sat there, so they could always look down on the minister. Uh, uh -huh. So it all balanced out. Uh -huh. That's funny. Wow. Yeah, that's great. It's kind of a good life, and you know, in Zen all the way. You know, you know, Zen was my heart. You know, the the driver, my spiritual anchor. Did you uh, bring Zen into? I mean, I don't think it's very hard uh, to br to bring Zen into. Uh, were you with? It's the Unitarian or the Unity? Yeah, Unitarian, not Unity. Yeah, Unitarian Church. Uh, yeah, it was easy. Um, you know, I mean, the main thing was first off was to make sure that the congregation understood. I understood that they hired me to be their minister, not uh, their Unitarian minister, not their uh, Zen priest. Um, yeah. Um, and probably, ironically, I probably preached less from Buddhist texts than your generic Unitarian minister did. Uh, 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 I can understand but, that. But, yeah, yeah. But it, it helped me because it kept me on my toes and kept me, kept me bilingual. And, uh, you know, it was... You know, so I could draw on the, all the rest of the world's traditions. 
Yeah. And, uh, and it, these tended to be you know, a little bit more politically oriented, uh, academic oriented pulpits. So yeah, mm-hmm. a lot of that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, but the practices and they were always, you know, sitting groups in the, you know. And how long have you been in Long Beach? Um, I, at least six years, maybe it's seven now. I'm, yeah. Yeah, you've moved around. Mm-hmm. Where were you in Arizona? Yeah. Uh, it, it, the church itself was in Chandler. We lived in Mesa. Phoenix is the uh, in Phoenix. yeah hot there. I I I yeah. I used to. I called it. I, let's see. I remember. I called it uh, the Great Satan. Uh, <laughs> I loved Arizona. I did not have. I didn't uh, think. Uh, I my 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 read on Phoenix was. Um, um, I, I, and people would ask, I'd say, well, uh, think of the L.A. without the charm. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, I've uh, visited uh, a friend in Tucson a number of times. Uh, Tucson's okay. That's the old adobe. That's a, yeah, that's a good thing. Yes. And, and, and good people in Phoenix. I mean, I love the congregation. It was one of my, uh, I had two congregations I truly loved, loved, loved. And one of them was the, uh, um, um, the, the, the Chandler congregation. Good people. And and where was the good other city. one? A, a, a Providence, first Providence. Uh, Providence and Phoenix. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, it's just a, for, for Providence, it was this thing. I just, I'd arrived at this spot in my life where, where, you know, I was who I was, you know, and you know, I think I turned 60 when I arrived and, you know, I was real clear on who I was. Um, and, and then it was just this kind of, you know, most churches need in a minister, they need about three or four skill sets, but they're like, you know, there's usually five or six things that need to be done. I had three or four skill sets that were like really critical for them. And the things I was no good at, I was upfront about not being any good about it. And they had people who could do those things. So it was like, you know, I was there seven years and it was a seven year honeymoon. It was, um, 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 if you're a minister, often when you're at the end of the line, you know, it's really hard not to hate the institution. And, you know, and I, I, I can, um, and, and my end was, you know, was just a, just, you know, I was very fortunate. It had to be, if friends say, good karma from a previous lifetime. I, I didn't, c- couldn't see how I deserved a congregation as good as the Providence Church. Hmm, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah, it was, it was, it was fortunate. And they loved that I was a Buddhist. And, and I had also, I'd arrived at the point where, you know, I, I didn't give a fuck anymore. And I just preached on what was, what felt right to the moment to the, for the community. Yeah. And Buddhism, you know, my Buddhism, my interest in Western Christian mysticism, my politics, all of it, you know, just wove together and was, was right for them in that moment. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then I left before, before it all burned out. <laughs> before it all yeah, before what? That, before it died. Well, everything has a time, you know, it lasts so long. So long yeah, and, right. You know, uh, and, and, and I left before that happened. I mean, yeah. It was time to retire. Jan, Jan was anxious about her mom and wanted to be closer. So we, uh, but you still got a, a role in the church. Oh yeah. Yeah. I keep my hand in. Um, 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 it, it's nice. I like the, the LA congregations is kind of a who it's this fascinating little, it was big old, building it was you know in the 1950s and 60s it was a major uh, social justice pulpit in los angeles uh, rod well rod certainly actually was a member of the santa monica church but he'd appear there and you know a lot of the you know a lot of interesting uh, people and and you know passed through and but since then it had been it had dwindled down and and it had actually had a divide over whether to sell the building or not. They'd reduce, drop to about six people. Well, wow, that's a small congregation. It's a small congregation in a big old falling apart building. And and then a young lawyer uh, um, joined and, and, and he kind of became the dictator for a while. And, and, and his vision for them was to aim at millennials, which is what he was. 
and have all the take this small amount of endowment they had left, bring in the most interesting speakers they could get on a Sunday, and then um, um, and then all the program was driven to millennials. And now it's it's up to about sixty or seventy people. Um, and it's interesting because you know um, more are coming. People are joining, and it's a weird demographic because it's mainly the entire leadership is under forty, and um, 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 and more people are coming every Sunday. No kids, you know. It's 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 young professionals. A lot of lot you know a lot of LGBTQ. Um, um, and, and a lot of political left political people, and mm. they um, when the lawyer left to return home to Hawaii, uh, um, his parting gift was to to ask them to hire two consulting ministers, uh, uh, um, a retired Methodist minister who's like a lion of social justice here in in, in Southern California. And then me, and so we each preach once a month, and then so they only have to fill the other the other Sundays, uh, and you know the formula continues to work. I you know I mean I, I I have to admit they they you know I look at the building and all I see is the crumbling concrete and things. The, the people who go there they see this lively, exciting, engaged crowd of people who like being with each other, mm. and. Um, I you know I find it fascinating. I'm glad they want me to hang around uh, for for a while. Mm. Mm. I'll keep doing that for a little while anyway. I I think I well you know I yeah I, I I'm 74 and that's you know and when it hits 75 I'll I'll think about what I need to do. But I you know, at least another year. Yeah. Oh wow, that's interesting. Um, well, um, so. Uh, what what's your focus in it on when you talk? Do do you do you talk about social so then, issues? Yeah. Uh, do you well? So so Ignacio, the you know the Dr. Castura, the the other minister, that's his major bailey. Yeah, I mean that's what he. You know, it's always a social justice sermon. They want me to punch up the Unitarian connection, the history of Unitarianism. Um, spirituality in general, and they, they they know they're not just a you know they're not a political organization. Right. They're a spiritual organization that has a political um, consequence to it, and so that's kind of my my job is to dig into that a little bit, and, mm -hmm. which is you know exactly perfect for me. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, so you know, and I've always had kind of an academic bent, and so you know, so I do a lot of classes and things for them and, mm -hmm. and, and I, I, my preaching it tends to be the interface of, of spirituality and uh, you know and, and why you know how do we you know how do we engage each other how do we be more useful uh, in this you know mm -hmm. amazing radical interdependent web that we belong to a part of well, how how uh, keen an issue is uh, climate change in that crowd you know, um, um, it, 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 it's there. It isn't a driver for the, you know, the, it's not a, a driver. I would say the, the biggest issues tend to be um, um, immigration. Um, 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 the, the congregation itself is kind of bilingual. It has a, uh, a significant minority of, of Latin American immigrants, uh, and um, they actually, you know, the, the, they have a simultaneous translation. The uh, oh, neat. Um, the speakers are almost always English speakers, but the, but you can but you can get a Spanish translation. Oh, that's wonderful! Simul simultaneous language. That's wonderful. Language. And she and and she has we we have had Spanish speaking pre sermons, and and she flips and you know does the <laughs> does the English. Uh, but we don't. That's that's uncommon. But 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 a lot of the issues, particularly you know, um, uh, Mexico and the, the Mexican border is, you know, California border is, you know, two hours away. So yeah, um, 
Yeah. So that's, I would say, the biggest issue. I suspect, we again, we haven't really hit it a lot, but um, I think, you know, gay rights is going to become a little bigger issue in the near future. But, but you know, the issues of ecological collapse are, you know, are, are, are there. And I w- would be surprised if, if that doesn't become a major driver in that congregation in the next few years. Uh-huh. Um, uh-huh. 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 I, I think it's going to be a, a major driver in their lives. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, right, right. Yeah. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, yeah. We're, I mean, we're not going to outlive, uh, you, know, you know, some of the major consequences beginning to happen, but they're going to see it all, you know. So, yeah, so they're going to see a lot. They're going to see some serious stuff. Yeah, I I would think so. Um, uh, definitely. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think uh, the uh, the the uh, you know the speed at which things are changing is there's also uh, the acceleration. It keeps accelerating. Uh, so. Um, uh, but uh, you can't think about it all the time. <laughs> That's well. Well, no, you can't. And and you know, I mean, and uh, um, you know, life is life goes on and it's complicated. And we're we we all live under the cloud of death. And uh, right. Um, 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 you know, our our coming of age, you know, was, you know, was the Vietnam War and nuclear annihilation. Uh, yeah, well, that's um, still um, the, uh, a major it's issue. It, it, is not the, it is not off the table. Yeah. Uh, um, but, the, but the biggest thing, I think, you know, facing them, well, I mean, well, they have a couple of big issues. I mean, you know, the, you know, the American Republic is trying to decide whether it um, is tired of... Uh, Democracy in its flawed forms, and want to go, yeah, you know, cut out the middleman, uh, right? And, um, Definitely. So, you know, that's that's going to be a big issue for, yeah. for all of us, right? In the next yeah. few election cycle, yeah. It seems to me the forces that that uh, want to bring it to an end are much better organized. Well, um. Yes, yes. Uh, the I do notice the left seems to be happy to fight with each other, right? Uh, <laughs> um, um, and forget that there is actually a problem out there. Yeah, maybe to set aside some of our specific issues, and, right? Uh, or not set them aside, but you know, some prioritizing seems to, seems to be in order. But but I'm not seeing it. Uh, yeah, and and I'm very much aware of you know you know the the leaders of this you know I'm not part of that you know I'm you know um, I really am aware of of aging you know and you know and and at this point that's my you know like my my current my current writing project the one Shambhala is doing is you know a reflection on the arc of a spiritual life and you know that's my gift and that's what I can bring to the table. Mm-hmm. And, uh, uh, and hopefully it'll be useful mm-hmm. to some of the people who are uh, who have to take up the leadership of this, this stuff right now. Can you remember the names of your books, the subject, and approximately when they were published? Oh, jeez. Um, um, maybe. <laughs> Let's see. Well, the first book was I can still remember because uh, when I was – First, the parish minister, so that would be in the very early 90s, um, I was invited to be an editor uh, for the proceedings of a conference. And it was done by the in-house publishing house for the denomination called Skinner House Books. And I would read somewhere that if you get any kind of toehold into a uh, publisher, you know, grab it. And, and, uh, into what? And into manage, what? So if you have any kind of connection to a publisher and you want to publish, you know, oh yeah, go for it. And so I said, would you like a book on the Zen for Unitarians? And uh, they said, yeah. And and so I, I think in a 
about two months, I roughed out what was called this very moment, which was a little introduction to Zen Buddhism for Unitarian Universalists. And, and um, that was my first book, and it came out in the mid-90s. Mm. And uh, um, then, then when I went to, uh, actually, it, let's see, by the time I got to Boston, uh, um, um, I was asked if I, I, I was invited to, to, to make a proposal to Wisdom Publications. And my first book, I had originally, way back when I was, when I went to seminary, um, I, I, the, the Graduate Theological, the Pacific School of Religion, which is the school I went to, was a member of something called the Graduate Theological Union at Berkeley. And it was a consortium. And part of what brew, brought all these seminaries together was uh, um, they, they, they were um, mutual agreements, and one was to surrender the bulk of their library libraries to a central library of Florida Lamps and Hewitt. Another was to uh, give up all their academic degrees, that the schools issued professional degrees, the, the MDiv and a doctor of ministry, um, and that the MAs and the PhDs and the THDs were issued by the uh, by the by the union itself, um, Pacific School of Religion because it was so old, in California old. It was formed, gathered in, formed in the eighteen seventies or eighties. I forget now, and um, they were allowed to keep an MA. And I I uh, um, uh, 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 I remember seeing this thing. Oh look, all I have to do. The MDiv, the professional degree, is is a three year program. Yeah, all I had to do was add in another year of coursework during those three years and do an MA, do a thesis, and I could have an academic degree as well. And I, I, I don't remember a lot, but I but but I have both of those diplomas now. Ah. and but but the original intention and all the coursework and everything that I designed, including a lot of self study and things was to do a study of Zen in the formation of Zen in North America, convert Zen in North America. And I had lined up a, 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 a um, you know, an interesting crowd to be my, you know, my, my readers and everything. But as the plan was that I would um, graduate with my MDiv and then finish the MA and defend it from my, you know, come back from my, um, um, first settlement parish. As I was getting ready to go into that first settlement, my lead professor, Derwood Foster, said, "Oh, James, uh, by the way, I'm retiring, um, and and uh, um, um, the upshot was that he he said I, I had inflicted a, a bloated paper on him. I once he said it had some original research, and he said expand that out and and make that your MA thesis. And so I ended up in Instead of doing a, um, a thesis on the uh, on the establishment of converts in in North America, I uh, um, my MA thesis was was a, was an examination of uh, of the um, 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 episcopacy in in the Christian churches. Now, now this phrase you used, did you say converse Zen? Convert Zen. Oh, convert you Zen. You and me. That's so interesting. What do you mean by that? Well, now that would become my second book, and um, because we did all this research, so it became um, Zen Master Who, and I it would have been published in the early two thousands. Uh huh. I remember that. It, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, and so it's a study of the establishment of of Zen Buddhism in North America. And so the you know a little bit of background getting here, and then the, the leading personalities to uh, establish Zen um, communities in uh, um, in the uh, you know um, you know I, I touch upon Sotoshu, that which is the only only East Asian group to actually have a, a you know institutional foothold in in North America. Um, um, but mainly it was the converts, you know, so Sung San and Shunri Suzuki and Robert Aiken and uh, uh -huh. um, Ada Shibano, uh, Joshua Sasaki, 
um, you know, all of those people. And um, Walter Noah, like you mentioned Walter Noah. What about so, Kaplow? So, and, and Philip Kaplow, absolutely. And G.U. Kennett. And, and G.U. Kennett was, was covered. So, yeah, so it was a, you know, I think it was pretty, it was a good book. Uh, wait, um, I want to ask that. What uh, about Matsunaga? Mm-hmm. Uh, um, I, he, he, you know, I'd have to go and look. He would have been, you know, his, he, as in his, you know, his, um, I, I talked a little bit about people who, you know, whose contributions were more in translation, uh, translators, but, but, uh, uh um, wait a minute. Do I have uh, the I, name wrong? I'm thinking of the guy who started the Chicago Zing group. Oh, uh, Matsu, Matsu, Matsu Oka. Oka. Uh, yeah, uh, I had the so, name wrong. Yeah. So you, Matsu Oka. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. He's, he's, He's absolutely addressed. Yeah. In, 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 in there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, yeah, it was, it was a good book. You know, it, it had a couple of glaring errors in it, and, a, and you know, um, other, you know, and, you know, small and large errors, but, you know, it was a, um, it didn't sell very well. <laughs> it sold enough copies to get me a contract for another book. But, but ironically, I have noticed uh, to toot my own horn in that regard. If you go to Wikipedia and you look at any article about those people that we just named, um, in the footnotes, that book is cited. You know, it, it was, and, you know, it really was a. Uh, um, um, an important gathering of the you know, of, of critical information. And I think it's a, it's going to be a, a foundational document for serious scholarship and such that will come in the future. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I'm proud of that book. Um, mm. Then let's see, what was the next book? Uh, I think the next book was um, a collaboration with my senior student, Melissa Blacker, in which we, solicited um, essays uh, and Dharma talks on the Koan Mu, on the Mu Koan. Oh. And, and we, we collected um, ancient and modern, you know, talks on, it's called the Book of Mu. Oh. And um, I think it's the one that has sold the best, mm-hmm. you know, more steadily over the, over the years. It's a kind of a, you know, big old book. And, um, um, and it's continued. I don't know the publication date. Then I did uh, kind of the Dharma according to James. It was called "If You're Lucky, Your Heart Will Break," and it was kind of memoir-ish, and it's kind of trying to outline a little bit of what Zen might look like as it, you know, kind of takes native root in the West. Mm-hmm. Um, I, you know, I, I have a fondness for it. Uh, um, Again, it sold well enough to get another contract, and then, and then my fifth book. I think I'm hoping that's the. I haven't forgotten something. Um, was a more serious study of of koan introspection. Um, although I think the title was wrong, it was called um, an Introduction to Zen Koans, uh, and it really is an introduction to Zen meditation and koans. It doesn't even get to koans for about. Forty percent of the book, through, you know, until about forty percent mm. is written, and I, I'm most proud of that. I think that was uh, a serious introduction to to Cohen introspection as a spiritual discipline, what it means in the you know in in the you know in the traditions that we inherit from Japan, especially you know as you know from from Hakuni Kaku on, you know, mm. into the modern modern days and and the reforms and especially the the Harada Yasutani thing, which is my, my line. Yeah, right. And, uh, yeah. And then, and then the book that Shambhal, so I did, the, those were all from Wisdom. And, um, and then my, my current book is going to be a Shambhala title, uh, which will come out next year or the year after. Mm. And, um, and it's, 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 it's kind of, it's the art of the spiritual life. I use the 10 ox herding pictures to give it kind of a superstructure, yeah. Um, but it's not a it's it's not a commentary on the Oxfording pictures in the in the conventional sense of the half dozen books I have on yeah. that, that do that in my, in my personal library. Um, but you know, it draws heavily on Western mystical traditions um, and and you know and other sources, uh, you know, in kind of a dialogue uh, uh, discussing you know 
yeah that life that we that we share and I, I you know it is kind of my most important book i think i hope uh you know it, it needs to um um you know it, it you know, they, they they just got the contract, and you know the next thing will be uh, you know the, the very painful process of editing and re, rewriting. Mm. Mm-hmm. Generally, is uh, generally I've I I have you know been improved a lot by that. Mm. So, so those are, those are the books. That's really interesting. That's really yeah. interesting. Uh, wow. Uh, is there anything else we haven't touched on that you would like to bring up? Oh, heaven. Oh, well, you know, it's just lovely visiting. And I, you know, and, you know, we all like to talk about our favorite subject. <laughs> uh, and, uh, uh, um, you know, I, I hope it might be of interest to somebody and maybe useful. Another one of, you know, you're the grand archivist of, 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 you know, the Zen's rooting here in our, in our tradition, uh, and and um, I'm you know honored to be part of your little. You know, oh, that's great! Not to look, your your great collection. I need more women. Um, well, there's some, yeah, some, you know, um, you might interview Melissa, you know, my 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 senior retirement heir. Oh, yeah, she's quite interesting. And there's uh, Melissa Blacker. Uh, you know, it'd be very helpful if you'd send me a. Uh, an email reminding me of that and okay. CCing her. Uh, I do like to uh, venture, you know, uh, the I, I call Cuke Archives um, preserving the legacy of Shunyu Suzuki and those whose paths crossed his mm-hmm. and anything else that comes to mind. Uh, so, right. <laughs> so she's within that. There's some serious people that you want to catch that are – just beginning to age into the spot where you might be and they might die. So, so, you know, um, Oh, um, I, I, and you know, all of them, um, but, but, but I will throw a couple of names. At you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Do that. Well, what a treat. Thank you for, you know, for inviting me to this. Yeah. Well, it's a treat for me too. Uh, I really appreciate it. And that's all really interesting. You've got an interesting uh, path there. Just remind me, uh, where were you born? Oh, um, the Oakland, California, the city of no there there. <laughs> Some people say she didn't say that. Uh, um, you know, it, it, actually, I saw something that said she did say it, but it was, but it wasn't. She wasn't. T- really talking about she's talking about the oakland that she grew up in and that's gone that there is no longer there oh but 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 taken out of context it works really well yeah it's funny it's funny uh <laughs> oakland boy well well i know there's a few used to be you'd meet somebody from california in california you go wow you're from california uh there were so many of us from elsewhere. Uh, right. 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 Yeah. No longer so now. now yeah. Generations. Yeah. People. Well, let me ask you one other thing. What do you think about, well, you know, uh, I don't know how do I word this? What do you think about the focus uh, on, uh, there's so much focus on identity issues uh in in the Zen world in some areas of it uh, and um uh, identity issues and uh being careful not to uh, offend uh and and also this idea of uh people wanting to feel safe I mean I hear this stuff coming from America it has nothing to do with people where I live here in Bali. Uh, so much of what's important in America is, um, you know, is nothing here. Uh, yeah, well, that's, yeah, it's cultural. Uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm in favor of it. I think it's a good thing. Um, I, you know, any good thing is usually done in excess. Um, that's right. <laughs> 
Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And, you know, I, 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 I welcome the doors being opened and, you know, it's, it can be painful and people do stupid things and, and, and I, uh, um, and, I, and, and, and I don't know which are the stupidest. So, so, so I'm, um, I, I think that's well said. Uh, it, it's a matter of, uh, uh, balance, uh, it has to find its right, right. its its balance point. Uh, it's where where it fits. Uh, you know, and I welcome. I mean, I really want to see you know sin take root, and I think it needs to uh, you know to expand its boundaries. And and I love that there's this interest and this desire on the part of uh, um, you know people who are you know traditionally marginalized. Uh, who see something in the in the Dharma and you know and you know safe is a complicated word and you know and you know obviously for in Zen practice there is a point where nothing is safe. But but I don't think they're talking about that. I think they're talking about unexamined cultural assumptions um, that need to be, you know, need to be looked at by everybody. Yeah. So, you know, I just I'm balanced, you know, plus of course I'm old and I'm not in charge of anything. Uh, you know, <laughs> so so I don't you know I don't have to deal with the, the 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 politics of it and the difficulties and the frustrations that people try to run organizations. But um, yeah, no kidding, but, no kidding. Yeah, uh, yeah. And and I hope that good is going to come out of this, and I'm, I'm moderately confident it will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, indeed. Well, it's been a pleasure, James. Uh, really, and, uh, really, I've enjoyed it. Yeah, that. and drop by sometime. <laughs> I'd love to come to Bali. Thank you. Dude. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, it'd be great. Okay, well, that's. Uh, I really appreciate it, and take care. Thank you. Bye-bye. 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 So thanks a lot, James Ford. Appreciate it. Good talking with you. And uh, we look forward to hearing more from you. More books. More Zazen. More podcasts. We'll see. This has been a Cuke Audio Podcast. I'm D.C. Puba of Cuke Audio and Cuke Archives. Coming to you from Sleepy Sanur with Dog and Bandita, Feline Cochita, and dear lovely Katrinka. And we're wishing you and yours and all of us a grand awakening.